Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these tiny leaves and this little spiral vine. For this project you're not going to need much because these are very small elements that you can use with some of the other small elements I will be sharing videos of. I've already shared the pumpkin so this leaf looks very nice with that little pumpkin. You're going to need a small amount of yarn. I am using worsted weight category 4 medium yarn. You are also going to need scissors and a yarn needle. And then I am using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. It is a size E crochet hook. You can change the size of the hook. It will make the leaf bigger or smaller, but that's just what I'm using today. We are going to get started with the little spiral vine. And the nice thing about this is it's very easy to adjust. So we're gonna make a slip knot, insert our hook, and then you can work any number of chains. How many chains you work will affect how long it is. I'm going to work about 15 chains and have a vine that's roughly one and a half to two inches long. Once your chain is complete, we are going to work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then work another single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And to continue working down this row, we are going to work two single crochets in every chain. Working an increase in every chain is what's going to give this little vine its spiral effect. Once you've worked two single crochet in every chain on this row, you are all done with your little vine. You can leave it nice and tight and spiraled, or you can stretch it out to make it a little longer. It is completely up to you. From here, you're just going to fasten off your yarn and leave those yarn in in case you want to use them to sew them to your project. And I will be showing you a variety of projects to use these on at the very end of the video. Now let's go ahead and make a leaf. Start by making a slip knot and insert your hook into the loop. We are going to chain seven and we are going to work this leaf all as one single row, working into both sides of the starting chain. Once you have your seven chain, we are going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So you're going to yarn over, find that third chain, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through two loops. Now in that same chain, we are going to treble crochet. So yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook into the same chain as the double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over a third time and pull through the last two loops. Moving on to the next chain, we are going to work two treble crochets into the next chain. Remember that the treble crochet, you yarn over twice at the beginning. We're going in the same chain. And then it's always yarn over, pull through two. And you'll do that a total of three times. Some people call it a triple crochet, but I think it's supposed to be treble. Moving on to the next chain. In this chain, we're gonna do two double crochets. For a double crochet, you yarn over once and then work your stitch. In the next chain, we're going to do one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook 
And in the very last chain on this side, we're going to single crochet. And that is the first half of our leaf. Now we are going to work along the other side of this chain, but to get to the other side of the chain, we're going to start by chaining two. Turn your leaf over so you can work into the opposite side of the turning chain. In that first chain, we are going to single crochet. In the next chain, we are going to half double crochet. In the following chain, we're going to work two double crochets. So one and two all in the same chain. In the following chain, we're going to work two treble crochets. I know some people will call them triple crochets totally up to you what you want to call them as long as we're working them the right way. One more treble crochet into that same stitch or sorry same chain. Then in the very last chain we are going to work a treble crochet first Then we are going to work a double crochet. Then to finish it off and make it look like the other side, we are going to chain two, one and two, slip stitch to the same chain that we were just working into. And then we're going to chain three and that is going to be our little stem. You can make this longer if you like, but I just like to chain three, fasten off, yarn over, and pull it through the last loop. And there you have it. That is your finished little leaf. So let me go ahead and show you some projects that I use this leaf and the vine with. And with your yarn end, you can just use your yarn needle to weave it up to the top and use those two yarn ends to sew it onto your project. So here's some ideas on how to use the leaves and vines. You can see I made a decorative belt for my dress with the leaves and the vines and the pumpkins that I have previously made a video for. I have sewn these onto the top of an ear warmer. I put bobby pins on these little pieces and tacked them into our hair and these leaves and vines are perfectly sized to go on top of my gnome patterns. If you want to add your own little extra decorativeness to the gnomes, you can definitely do that as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and the pattern. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.